Here I am again with another healthy skin recipe, one that's meant to show you ingredients that not only taste good, but also make you look and feel good. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so that you never miss a video. And then just check out these ingredients for our upcoming Thai soup recipe. So sweet potatoes, as we already know from the previous video, are packed in vitamin C, which is always a great ingredient for fighting off free radicals, anti-aging properties, and brighter skin. Peppers as well, especially the red and orange ones, have that same vitamin C packed power. Apparently ginger is the goat. It has over 40 antioxidant ingredients in it naturally and makes your skin tighter in addition to taking away uh, toxins out of your body. Garlic from the previous video we know already has these characteristics that surprisingly are beneficial to your skin. I never knew that and I'm obsessed with garlic. So kale has all of the most essential vitamins but we barely talk about vitamin B and K. Vitamin B promotes healthy blood cells, that means better transfer of essential nutrients to your skin. And vitamin K is actually essential to fight hyperpigmentation, which here at Naturally B we are all about. Vitamin K essentially naturally gets rid of scars, stretch marks, and spider veins. So ladies, get into it. Onions, believe it or not, are an antiseptic, so they kill bacteria that are harmful to your skin and could eventually cause acne. So having that ingested just naturally gives you those antiseptic properties. So now we begin. So we are sauteing and we're sweating down some of the onions that I just talked about. Once we get it to a good caramelized state, I added um, two tablespoons of green curry Paste. Then we are going to go ahead and add in our other ingredients, which include the ginger, the garlic. Make sure it's all in there. Then we're going to go over and add the bell peppers that I chopped up. We sweat those down for, I would say, about two or three minutes. Then I forgot to do this, but I would have put in the sweet potatoes at the same time as the peppers. So just make sure you do that when you're cooking it, but it turned out okay. I was just afraid of overcooking everything else. Lastly, we add the kale because kale sweats down very fast and I didn't want it to get too, um, to shrink too much basically. noodles that I boiled overnight in advance and adding that to the soup as well. These are egg noodles if I'm not mistaken or rice noodles, either one is fine. Add in my cauliflower which I completely forgot to show you chopped <laughs> but um, I'll leave the description of the skin benefits on the side of the screen. Adding my vegetable stock, this is vegetable stock, not chicken stock, not beef stock, vegetable because we're trying to make this vegan. We add in our coconut milk which again forgot to give you the skincare benefits so they'll be on the side waiting for you <laughs> to read. Cloves, my jam, we talked about that already, you should follow me on Instagram to hear the facts about that and some coriander and some other spices were put together to make my curry powder. I believe there's some cayenne in there as well and then I put some brown sugar that has no benefits that just tastes good <laughs> so I'm adding in the curry powder after adding in my stock and my curry sorry my coconut milk along with the brown pepper as seasoning adding some soy sauce for additional flavor If you're allergic to soy, go ahead and use coconut aminos. Those are a great substitute. 
Y'all, I made homemade bread and this was the most exciting, exhilarating experience of my life. Um, <laughs> it reminded me of the time when I was living in London and was traveling Europe and you could literally go to mostly any grocery store and see the bread coming out of the oven and buy it fresh daily. Um, and so I don't think I'm ever going back to any kind of pre-made sliced bread that's on the counter. I am definitely making my own bread moving forward. From nothing to something, I did it guys. Thai curry coconut soup. I added some red pepper flakes at the end just to give it additional spice. And then I think I garnished it with some green onions, um, which didn't really do much for me, but to each its own. Here's the final dish, along with a side of my delicious homemade bread. You know, while you're going through cuffing season, while you're going through this cold winter that's about to come up, and take care of your skin through your skincare diet as well.